face of the world. Will it be damnation or salvation? Will it be so decided? This is the world of eternal war and fleeting glory. This is the world of Warhammer. At the beginning of time, there was once great magical creatures called dragons. A great race, all the way to the majestic Emperor Dragons. Even the, even the youngborns will come to the world. And suddenly, there is calm known as the Old Ones. Mystical creatures were from the stars, landed on the planet. And of course, what they have created of all the polar ice caps of the world was the warp to travel to different locations. Upon their arrival of creating the worms, they have created a species called the Slam. The Slam were toad-like people with brave, gifted with great magical powers. The stars have came to be, to be the bodyguards of the sled. The Sings have came as the lower class of, of the new race called the Lizard Men. Later came, the Elves have came into the island created by the Old Ones, who were gifted in the mystics as well, taught by the Slant. However, came to the Dwarves, great miners and craftsmen came all alike created an underground empire in the world dead mountains. Later came were the human. Very simple basic design and also had a brutal life like all men who desired longevity. But suddenly all was seems to be something was not entirely right. In the lands of the north where the warp was made, the old ones, the warp has tapped in something, the, the material world that came to the beings known as the Chaos. The four gods of Chaos. One, the blood of war, the pestilence, the knowledge, and of course, the pleasure. All of these four deities came forth, forcing the old ones to disappear on the planet from instancy, leaving to the lizard men to follow the guide of the old ones of its great plans. And of course, that unleashes the demonic hordes trying to take over. The elves were once overwhelmed by the huge amount of chaos demons. But however, there was one elf, high elf, an Aryan, as had came to help the high elf to ease off of the, of the mound of the demon princes and the towards of demons, but the chaos demons, and of course the gods of chaos, have manipulated and twisted the designs of the old ones that just came along, the beastmen, the skaven, and of course, the chaos swans, which of course, they have, but they have what not, what seems to be. And the climatic Arian, who took the sword of Cain, who became the god of war, has banished the chaos demons, while the Ahios have summoned the ritual to close the seal of the demons back where they came from. The ritual was completed, and all the demons have disappeared and defeated. When it came of the reconstruction of the, of the races, however, there was one elf, of course, by the name of Malakith. Malakith was the son of Aryan, and his mother, who was no other than the one who founded the dreaded pleasure cult in Uthurin. Of course, that the that the council had decided to replace had decided to replace Malakith with a different with a different lord to be called the Phoenix King. But what came? was Malachi's betrayal of the Phoenix King, leading to a civil war. Although Malachi tried to enter to the fires that his father has went, but unfortunately he has disfigured as he stepped out of the, out of the flames too quickly. Defeated in the civil war, he was banished to Negaroth. But Malachi was plotting once again. 
he had he had ambushed a convoy of dwarves who demanded demanded from the high elves due to the Malakim's clever deception. Of course, the incident has led to the war of the beards that nearly destroyed the two races, has saw the high elves withdraw the colonies from the old world, of the exception of the of the colony who stayed off Arthur Norin. But however, this is another story for another time. And the race of men that was one greatness, but appeared from a twin tail comment, and it was a tribe of the Umbergerian tribe, and that was the birth of Sigmar. Sigmar was destined to become great. During his youth, killing green skins and also dealing with beastmen, he also saved a dwarf named Kurgian Ironbeard, High King of the Dwarves. When, of course, that is, he and his household were ambushed by green skins. Sigmar has led a daring raid on their camp and freeing the High King of the Dwarves. In debt of his bravery and honor, uh, the Dwarf King has given him his most prized possession, the God's Morales, meaning the Skull Splitter. And he and the of his followers have led to a launching campaign against the Greenskins. This time, he led, he led successful. A massive horde of Greenskin is coming to the Black Fire Pass. He and his alliance with the Dwarves have united meet the onslaught of the green skin. The Blackfire Pass was a narrow passway that has neglected the green skin's superior numbers, which of course that the, that the man, men and the dwarves were able to hold the line against the onslaught of the green skin. But unfortunately, that Zygmar has led a magnificent charge towards the green skins that broken their lines and pursued them from the field. So many green skins were lost even despite of the miraculously growth rates they have never achieved those numbers once those again. And thus what begins the Empire of Man. When it all started when Sigmar has united the tribes within the into the realm. Exception was the Norsican tribes and the Bretonians. Sigmar was crowned by a priest of the Auric cult, with that Sigmar has ruled the land, having difficulty in facing beastmen and the Norsekin. Sigmar was fed up by the polit by the politics of his court, and he decided to give up of his of his throne and his fit of farewell. For those who were wonder why did he venture to the east, either to rejoin of his friend or killing more greenskins or an adventure to defeat chaos once more. The Empire of Man live in peace. But unfortunately, at the year of 1109 came Boris I, who was the deprived emperor who taxed the citizens of the Empire of Man just to fill in the coffers of his court. The Black Plague of 111 has caused the deaths of three-fourths of the Empire. What revealed afterwards was the Skaven came to the world, wreak havoc on the survivors of the Empire of Man, even destroying their settlements, capturing slaves. Among the victims of the Black Plague was actually Boris I. His death caused celebrations in spite of the Skaven threat. Manfred of Middlehelm had decided, of course, to launch a campaign against the Skaven. His, su his successful military campaign has driven the Skaven out. With the unintentionally help from the Vampire Council of Ania, the Skaven will burrow back into the Under Empire, never revealed again, thus leading to the Skaven to become mere myths of the Empire. But unfortunately, that did not last very long until 1152 that a Skaven assassin killed Manfred, leading to a civil war. But after the civil war was dragging on, there was a great war of chaos. Magnus I of Null 
has this has united the empire and driven out the great of the chaos bands back where they came from with the help of the high elf wizard named Teclis. Came in to have created the colleges of magic to help the new wizards to harness the powers of the winds of change. The witch hunters had to go after those unauthorized wizards who might be a potential agent of chaos. Who led this and led to the events of Karl Franz. It is the year 2502 of the Imperial Calendar. Karl Franz was elected to become the Emperor of Man, and now his story 